the books that have influenced the largest number of other books are the canonical books and the ultimate canonical book in the West is clearly the biblical corpus because it's influenced virtually everything and so you have to know it because it's implicit in everything else and so you start there and so you have that you, you have that knowledge at least to some degree and it gives you the foundation the metaphorical foundation the conceptual foundation the mythical foundation that you can use to then well then maybe you can now that now Shakespeare opens up to some degree and now Milton opens up to some degree and Dante opens up to some degree and you think well why should those open up and the answer is well as the social constructionists claim you're at least in part a historical creature well then those books are about you they're the the patterns in those books are the patterns of your perceptions and your actions and without understanding them then you don't know who you are and you can't guide yourself properly through life and so you, you, you come into university and you encounter experts and they say look this is canonical why? because it's had a disproportionate influence on everything else so you need, there's something here that you need to know about because it's about you and, and it isn't about the you that's here now in some sense it's about the you that can unfold across time in the, in the best possible way so each of those works is a call to adventure every painting that's a great painting or a building like the King's Chapel if that's not a call to adventure I mean what else could it be? We, we were talking about that so these ancient buildings these great ancient buildings that Europe is littered with these were people were, were aiming at something beyond themselves beyond the span of their lifetime they, they engaged in the, col the collective manifestation of these great works to aim, to, to, to participate in aiming something that, at something that was beyond them. It was a divine aim. They had the, the will to produce this beauty that transcended centuries. You know, and maybe the will that produces beauty is always aligned with that which transcends centuries. Maybe those are the same things. I mean, even paintings, oil paintings, you know, they, they take a moment in time and they cast it into a permanent form that can be that can be preserved across centuries and so there's something about there's something about the establishing a relationship with eternity that's key to the construction of something that's beautiful and then that in itself becomes a call to a relationship with with eternity